Let's take an example of two business partners who hope to make a lot of money in an upcoming business deal. Maji, if we close this deal, we can use the profit to move into a bigger building. Then we could use the bigger building to get bigger clients and with the bigger clients we would make higher profits. With higher profits we could even go international. Janet Well, you shouldn't count your chickens before they hatch. Do not rely on predictions because the future holds many surprises. Skill, hard work and learning, there's also sometimes a little bit of luck. And we tend to take that luck and not really appreciate it for what it is. That you put all that hard work and you happen to hit on something. So if it's the first time, so often entrepreneurs, affiliates, whoever you might be that are experiencing that success, think, well, of course I'll be able to do this again. Now let's start to talk about my point of view on this topic. Do not count your chickens before they are hatched. Said to mean that you should not make plans for the future because you do not know for certain how a particular situation will develop. When dealing with important financial arrangements, it is imperative that you do not count your chickens before they are hatched. We should wait for the outcome before making any plans or assumptions. The only way to live a stable, healthy and fruitful life is to live in reality. There are many ways by which we could live in fantasies and illusions that will set us up for certain disappointment and maybe worse. The fantasy that we are able to have or control whatever we wish is one the illusion that we are entirely helpless is another. The scriptures give us a true and reliable picture of what is true about life. The Bible offers reality, not spiritual platitudes that are merely wishful thinking. If we live in reality, seeing suffering for what is really is, but knowing that there is true hope for the good. We are less likely to be devastated if we encounter some tragedy and we will be able to live in the goodness of God. That is reality. Do you notice this in your daily life? Tell me in the comment sections. Thank you so much.